Hello everyone, it's Abby, and in today's video we are going to be doing a What I Got For Christmas 2019. I planned to do this a bit earlier, but your girl's been busy, so now's the only chance when I've actually been able to sit down and film this video. So, I really don't want to have to say this, but... I know that I probably should because some people get triggered by these type of videos but basically I've been very spoiled, I'm very blessed, I'm very lucky and I'm very very grateful for everything that I have been given. I'm not trying to brag, I'm just, I like these videos, I like watching these videos, I'm nosy, I like to see what other people have got, I just think it's nice to just share with people the joy of Christmas. Obviously, I had a, an amazing Christmas with my family. I uh, really, really enjoyed it. I actually don't want it to be the end. I don't want to take the tree down, but I'm going to have to. I actually haven't had the chance to open any of my presents or use any of my presents yet because I literally have just been spending time with family. So I'm very, very excited about everything that I've got. So grateful, so lucky, so blessed. Not trying to brag. But if you like these type of videos, then just keep on watching. But if they trigger you, if you don't like them, then don't watch it. Simple as. So I'm probably just going to pick and mix whatever I can grab. Got my Prosecco here. It's not the end for me yet. First of all, I've got these slippers. Love slippers. Got, got some on right now to match my jazzy outfit, of course. But me and my mum wear the same slippers. It's this kind. Yes, they are granny vibes. I'm not going to lie. They're granny vibes. However, they're so comfortable. Because they've got like a sole, you can go and take the bin out. You can walk the dog if you want to. It's just great having like an outdoor sole. But she basically got me these, which are like a... Christmas version of the slippers that I already have. I have quite a few different pairs of slippers But these are like a Christmas version and they're so cute Granny vibes, but I love it. Next up. I've got this Diary, it's a diary daily planner thing um, But basically if you know me, you'll know I keep a diary just throughout all the years Obviously, I don't write in it every day because not that much happens in a lot of the days, but I like to just keep a diary of things of what I've been doing in my life in those years so that when I get to like 80 years old, I have like books to read that I've written myself of my own life, if you get me. So I'm just, I'm, I'm massively big on memories, m keeping like the memory alive, if you know what I mean. Like I, I've got a massive memory box. I keep everything that has a memory with it. I'm just massively big on memories because I'm terrified that when I get older everything's just gonna like fizzle into one so I like to keep the memories alive so I got this one it's just a cute little ooh, I don't know if the lights making it weird there but it's just a cute little Alice in Wonderland one and I like books so this is cute as in as in I like literature books not like just books but I do like books but I mean like I like reading Next, I have got a little Mac bag. I have this Gorge lip gloss. It actually, it, it doesn't have a name for it, but it's like this gorgeous glittery, it almost looks a bit mauve brownie, but it just has a number, I think. A59? I think that's what it is, but it's basically a Mac lip gloss lip gloss. And yeah, it doesn't have a name on it. It's one of the um, Starring You collection lip glosses, but saw this on the Girl in Mac, looked beautiful. So that's cute. And then I also, well, Mam uses this, which is a powder blush from Mac. It's called Margin. And it's just kind of like a really nice shimmery, bronzy color. Um, I use it actually for my bronzer rather than just a blush but it's good at mixing the blush and the bronzer together but basically they've discontinued doing it in the proper packaging with like the 
case they only do it in these refills so i'm gonna have to stick with the tiny little pan Ooh. also what i have is <laughs> feel like gin is just the rage it's just all the rage it's blown up recently and i don't know where it's come from but i didn't really like gin well i hate non-flavored gin i hate plain gin it's just horrific but i've got this one which is from sainsbury's taste the difference gin it is pomegranate and rose gin which is just nice I'll be having that with lemonade. On that kind of note, I also have another thing of a little gin package. Um, it's not tied though, oops. But basically what it is, is a little Gordon's gin mini bottle and a little glass with like pink flowers on to match this packaging with some lint chocolate inside. So that's very nice. On that lint note, Got a box of lint chocolates, love white chocolates, amazing. Need I say more? Also staying on the alcohol hype, we have got these gourmet cocktail toppers. So it's like for champagne and Prosecco. So these would be really good if you hate the taste of Prosecco or champagne. These would be good. So basically you get a grapefruit, mango, raspberry and mandarin flavor. You just add them to your Prosecco or your Champagne and then they just add a bit of flavouring into the drink. So a little cocktail mixer ruining. On that note, it's reminding me. I'm thirsty. Next up we've got this beautiful candle. Mmm. Oh my god, it smells so good. Basically it's a Yankee candle and it is hot cocoa scent as before i even saw the candle as i started opening the wrapping the smell of this just steamed through and i was like oh my goodness that smells like chocolate cake like it smells like somebody's just made a homemade chocolate cake so nice i love sweet smelling things that's just especially for candles i love ones that smell sweet like vanilla and I have another Yankee Candle one, which is my ultimate favourite. It's like snowflake cookie or something, and it's pink. That one, oh my goodness, that one is amazing. But this, I'm going to be smelling like I've made homemade chocolate cakes. Not really. Next, I've just got this cute little packet of socks. These are from Next, I believe yeah next socks and basically they've just got lots of little doggies on them if you can see i've hide my face lots of little dogs if you know me i love dogs i love my little my little sassy and these are just super cute can't go wrong with a pair of socks for christmas can you you just can't next i've got this gorge Ooh, i wish i could put this on right now gorge hoodie actually i've got it on i'm showing you it back to front that's helpful but it's basically just this furry well it's not furry it's like that really soft cuddly material there you can see it it just looks cuddly and soft and amazing but it's basically that on the outside and the inside because i know sometimes clothes have it soft on the outside and then they have this horrible lining inside which is rough and bleh. but this has it on both sides so it's so warming yep yeah, this is from next and yeah super comfy super cuddly super soft then i have this adidas top so this is cute somebody got me this as a surprise i didn't pick this out myself um but actually i really like it it's so nice it's so like i don't know it's so cool it's got hot pink piping all on it obviously the adidas print all on the front in the middle it's cropped but what i really like is these buttons like these poppers on the neck i just think they are really cool i've said this this top is just cool next up 
It's House of CB packaging, but it's not House of CB inside. If you buy from House of CB, the boxes are great for homing other presents, but also if you sell things on eBay, Depop, things like that, they're great for sending your items in because obviously then they don't get damaged. So first of all, we've got this polar neck top, which is kind of like a navy body with gray sleeves. And this is from Zara. And it's just, it feels really comfortable. Like it feels thick and warm, but it's not itchy or scratchy. Yeah, super nice. If you know me, you know I love polar necks, turtlenecks, they're my life. I just thought this was really nice with kind of like the colour blocking. I thought it was super nice. Then I have got is this. This is from Stradivarius. And this is just sort of a gorgeous little top. And it's got a bit of a V-neck there. And then the sleeves are this gorgeous trend that has been going around at the minute. These puff sleeves. And it's just gorgeous, girly, feminine, cute. Then... Carrying on with the trend, I have, again from Zara, a polar neck top. Love these ones. These are my favourite polar neck tops ever. They're just such good quality and they just fit like a dream. Uh, this is navy. Oh yeah, you can see it on camera. It looks a bit black in person, but it's navy. And then on the sleeves, they have these buttons like this. So I just thought they're a really nice addition to just a plain polar neck top i have i think the black one the white one and the gray one of these so adding to my collection but i just love them they just they just go with everything and they look so classy they look so sophisticated you put them on and you just look ready you look prepared you look like you've made a bit of an effort and then again same thing but in a camely color so again with the buttony things on the sleeves Super cute polar neck. Again from Zara. Next up, we have another item of clothing. This is a lovely shirt. This is from Stradivarius, I think, as well. Yes, it is. Um, but it's just this gorgeous, sort of beigey, tanny kind of coloured shirt. It's like a thin corduroy. Don't know if you can see that there, but it's just, it's soft. And it's just nice and I think this is just like a cool slouchy kind of vibe where you just put it on over a pair of jeans and I just feel like you just look, it's like comfy casual and I need some more of those types of things in my wardrobe. I have a lot of things where it's like really effortful, full of effort but this is very like it's nice and it looks nice and it looks good, but it doesn't take a lot of effort to put this on or wear it. It's not uncomfortable. It's just like, yes, put it on, be comfortable all day. So love this. Another House of CB box. We don't waste these things. So these are a pair of four leather trousers. These are from Stradivarius as well. They kind of like cling to your leg and then they're a flare at the bottom. So these are just, it's just like they're a bit sexy aren't they they're a bit sexy and i tried them on and they fit really well and i just think these i don't know i just think again these look like sexy but they're like classy and sophisticated they're quite grown up i think next up we have another four leather item from stradivarius this is a like a four leather shirt dress so it's obviously, it's got this little cute collar. It's got poppers all the way down the middle, cute little pockets. And it's also got this sort of tie belt round the waist so you can really cinch that in so you don't look like a bag of So super nice. And inside it's like, it's like soft. So I feel like that will be really warm. Even though it's like a dress, I feel like it just feels warm. This is a House of CB box, but it actually has something House of CB in it. If you watched my what to wear for my birthday video, this was in it. Um, but obviously with that, I was kind of 
I only wanted to buy one dress and, and obviously I can only wear one dress for my birthday night out. So this one, when it came, it was just so beautiful, but it just wasn't appropriate for my birthday night out, in my opinion, because I just didn't want it to get marked and stained and ruined. So it looked so beautiful, couldn't return it. So instead, we kept it, but I got it for Christmas instead. And here it is, it's just that beautiful, gorgeous dress that you've probably seen loads on House of CB. It's just beautiful. If you want to see what that looks like on, just go and watch my what to wear for my birthday video and you'll see what it looks like on, but it's beautiful. Now I can't put it back in its box because it's absolutely huge. Oh well. And then next up we have this beautiful Actually, it's got like finger marks on it. Ooh. But it's this gorge Ooh. jewelry box. I actually, I don't have a jewelry box, which is stupid. But been looking for a jewelry box for a while because it's quite. I feel like it's quite hard to find a nice jewelry box. But this was actually a surprise. I hadn't seen this before myself. So basically, it's just a jewelry box, and then it's kind of it's got another little jewellery box inside it which is the same kind of style with the diamantes um down the middle of it and i'm not gonna faff on taking out the polystyrene but you get the gist it's a jewellery box but it's very bougie it's very fancy Whoop. <sighs> tiring work it's not nice to sit on these baubles but next up we have got Boo Avenue, or if you've never been to Boo Avenue, get to Boo Avenue. It's just the most gorgeous shop ever. Should I show my pants? Is that weird? I don't know. But basically, got a pair of these peachy pink little pants. Gorgeous. And then again, the same in black. Boo Avenue pants are just beaut. They're so comfortable. Oh the best quality, the best designs, the best, the best. And then I have this cute little pyjama set. So this is so soft. It's just this kind of like pinstripe camisole, red and white little top. Super cute, super soft, super comfy for bedtime. Bedtime. And then it's got the matching trousers. Gorgeous with like a drawstring waist and a stretchy waist Amazing You need comfortable pajamas, but it's also nice to have nice pajamas nice comfortable pajamas I love pajamas Love them. Love 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 them And then another pair of pajamas These are just these are so soft this material oh but basically it's this cute little grey top, it's just plain, racer back, so comfortable with some matching little koala shorts. So cute with a little frill down the bottom, adorable. And this like, this is just, it's so soft. It's al it almost feels velvety, but it's not velvety, it's just so soft. So this present, I don't even, I can't even talk. I'm just gonna get it out. Basically, I got the iPad Pro. So this is the 12.9 inch and this is the terabyte one, which I believe is the biggest storage that you can get on an iPad Pro but yeah as you can see I haven't even opened it yet but I'm very excited to finally like I'm one of those people that will not I'll not open something properly until I can justify enough time to spend setting it up and using it and starting up with it and getting used to it like I don't just want to spend 10 minutes opening it up and just looking at it and then putting it away like 
I want to open this and spend like two hours just setting it up, going on it, just getting used to it. I just like, I'm one of those people that likes to save at the time. Like I want to build it up and then save at the time with it. So I actually knew that I was going to get this for Christmas because my mum basically rang me and texted me when she was ordering it, basically being like, which one, like, which one do you think we should get? Like, which one do you want? And I was just like, I knew that I wanted this size, but like, I wasn't sure about like the storage and stuff. So we kind of just worked that out together. And I believe, I believe there is an engraving on this because they do free engraving. So I think she's put some sort of little message on there from mum. So that's cute. And I'm excited to use it. I'm excited to open it. Look, it's so fresh. Also to go with that, I have the Apple Pencil. I feel so bougie right now. I feel so technical right now. And then I also have this. I did not know that I was gonna get this. I, I, I knew that I was gonna get the iPad and the pencil because they kind of go together, but I did not expect to get this as well. Did not expect it, but amazing. It's amazing. The trio is just like the perfect trio. So I'm very excited about this. I'm very excited. Oh okay, here and again it's something big, it's something bougie, it's something that I'm in love with. Oh, I need some for a second. We have a little something, a little something, something from Prada. Now so exciting it's so exciting man basically when we went to london for my birthday we went into prada and obviously if you watch my london vlog you will know that we bought something from prada well we bought two things from prada well man bought one thing from prada and i bought the other thing which you will see give me a moment but basically when we went in we i didn't really have anything in mind Let's just, let's just get it out. So basically, this is what it looks like. There she is. This is the bag. It is the Prada Cahia. Cahia? Not sure how to say it, but you can get the gist of what I'm trying to say. But this is what it looks like. I absolutely love it. Like, I love that noise. I've just nearly smacked myself in the face with the strap. But I love that noise. Oh, this bag. So basically, we went into Prada and literally, no joke, there was like a set of these, but the small version. I believe this is the medium version. I believe. But there was, a, there was a smaller version of this along with the other colours. And me and mum walked over and we both reached for this, this colour, this bag, this one. But in the smaller version. And I tried that one on. But that one didn't have this kind of strap. I think it had more of a chain strap. And that was, that was beautiful as well. It was gorge. But... As we were walking around the shop, we started speaking to one of the staff members who worked there and she actually, we were like, I think we asked if there was a bigger version of it or something like that. I can't remember how the dialogue went, but somehow we like, we were milling around the shop. We knew that we liked this in the smaller version. We did really, really like it. We would just, I think we just wondered, like, and we just asked her, oh, have you got any different sizes in this? And she was like, mm, I'm not sure. She showed me like the bigger one, I think. Or she showed me the one that's kind of like curved in the black and in the black and the creamy white. But I wasn't I wasn't as keen on that one. And then she like she came out of nowhere with this. And she was like, Oh, I found this. And she brought it out and I was like, oh my god. I was like, because I love the strap. The strap is just beautiful. It's just beautiful. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it on for you because you need to see it. 
so like look I mean you're not getting the full gist because you can't get my whole body in but like look at the strap it's just so nice this is how it opens it's just kind of like a flap type thing and then you just pull it open like that and inside it's kind of got two pouches as you, I haven't even taken the paper out of here but basically it's got two pouches and then it's got a little it's got a little pouch inside this pouch if you can see there and then it's kind of got this this bit here is like a flap that opens so it's kind of got like two big pouches and two little pouches and obviously it's got the Prada um, badge there but I just think it's gorgeous it's stunning it's beautiful it's classy it's classic like this will last me forever it just looks like an absolute dream so that was the story of how we got this bag so yeah love it I love that sound it's like tap dancing. Maybe that's why I actually like it. It's because it sounds like my tap shoes. Right, and the last thing that we've got is the other purchase that I got from Prada. These are what I bought for myself kind of as a mixture of a birthday and a Christmas present. So I just love the colour of this box. Like I want to use this box as decoration because it goes in my room perfectly. Super cute tissue with Prada on it so I'm not sure people are either gonna love these or hate them but I feel like that's that's probably the case with a lot of designer items is you either love them or you hate them but I absolutely love them and they caught my eye straight away so this is my pair of little Prada boots they are the comfiest things I have ever put my feet into. Like, these are basically, if you've ever worn Uggs, these are like the fashionable, cool version of Uggs. Like, I love Uggs, they're super comfortable. I wear them on my casual days. But if you want to have the feeling of like that warm, cozy boot feeling, oh, these are beautiful your foot is literally in like a little blanket and then the sole is so comfortable i can't even describe you feel like you're walking on moon boots i want to say like, i've never walked in moon boots but like the way that they just the way that you walk in these is just so comfortable they're just they're so comfortable um so they've just got the little i don't know if you can see they've got prada on the back there they have a little furry fluffy um outer bit on around the ankle heel bit and um, they've got a fluffy tongue they've got these cool laces and then they've also got this kind of um it's kind of like is, is it a buckle i don't know it kind of reminds me of a seat belt i'm not gonna lie but you know, you know what I mean. But it's got Prada on there as well. Oh, and they also have like reflective um, bits on the toes there, if you can see. And they're just gorgeous. I just love them. They're beautiful. I have a thing for like this colour. This camely, beigey, gorgeous colour. And they're just amazing. I think they look amazing. I think the style of them is gorge. I like the look of them. Feel amazing, look amazing, are amazing. What more could you want? Gorge. Gorge. So that is them revealed, finally. The things that I got from Prada are now finally revealed. I was gonna put them in their own video, but then I just thought, you know what? So that is everything that I got for Christmas this year, 2019. Oh my goodness, it's the end of the year. 
absolutely love everything that I got for Christmas this year. So incredibly grateful, so lucky, feeling so blessed to have everything that I got and everybody that I have in my life right now. And I'm just feeling really content. So I'm not trying to be braggy. Hopefully you can tell by this video that I'm not braggy. I'm just incredibly excited about everything that I've got. I'm so happy, I'm so thankful. So, chin chin, I hope you had a wonderful Christmas. I hope you got spoiled with presents and love. And I hope you had a lovely new year. I hope you have an amazing year. Let's do this, 2020. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. If you're not subscribed, why not? I hope you all have an amazing year ahead. Hopefully, we'll see more of each other. And yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. See you in the next one.